Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have, Shaf or sorry, bottom right hand corner, we have Shafir as the black Protoss. Nine o'clock position, we have Darren C as the pink Protoss. Nice alliteration. It's probably going to give him the victory, that right? It's always the alliteration, the superior color combos. This is on Gold Rush, which I don't remember. I think it's a BSL exclusive map. I have not seen it out in pro play. And I'm wondering if that will allow for more shenanigans. I almost feel like it's a little bit challenging for players in BSL, I gotta say, and the team Think Quick tournaments as well, and I feel like, how do I put this? A lot of players are gonna focus on ladder. They're gonna focus on just improving there. But because there's a lot of these maps that are not stereotypical ladder maps, that does give an opportunity for certain players to get advantages through superior preparations exclusively on those maps in BSL. And I'm almost wondering how how that plays into kind of the differential. Because it's almost like you could have a player that might be slightly inferior in skill go onto a map that's unfamiliar and just not know the map. And because they're playing kind of in the dark in that regard, compared to their opponent who's been a little bit more well prepared on that map, it just gives them an advantage uh, overall. I would. If you play in BSL and you're watching this, so if Darren or Shafir are watching this, I would like to hear your comments on that exclusively, and also how you guys prepared for these maps. The simulator, plop down there for Shafir. Same thing, looks like we got mirror builds. We are seeing a 12 o'clock scout towards this. I think the third base is somewhere like right there. We'll see. Looks like Shafir is making his way this direction, and I'm almost... It actually it has these features where if you kill all this, I think only a ghost can get through. Reminds me of, I think it was Col Colosseum was the old map, and I believe this is the that additional spawn location. I'm wondering if this is like a faster spawn scouting, like going across the exterior. Shafir and Darren going to see each other's probes as they're shifting through. This is also one of those interesting maps where it's asymmetrical on top of everything else. Anyway, three probes and gas, three probes and gas. First zealot being produced for uh, no zealot being produced. Skip zealot. It looks like for Darren. So it looks like he wants to go dragoon first, feeling like he's able to sneak that because of the darkness again of the map and being a three-player spawn. Sometimes it's risky trying to execute that, but I think it's going to pay off. That's going to allow him to go ahead and deny the scout from Shafir more rapidly. As far as mid-game, oh, I was going to say it looked like Shafir did it himself with the Zealot, but instead Darren able to wiggle that probe in. He's going to see everything. This is critical. When you see, sometimes you can do sneaky stuff by spinning this and going ahead and getting range upgrade and then canceling after the fact. And we'll see if Shafir opts to do that. But just the fact he saw it initially gives him a lot of information. First Dragoon out. Over here, second gateway's plopped down. So actually Darren providing a little bit of information to Shafir comparatively. At least that he's opening a two-gate build. Doing his best to go ahead and box that gate out. I don't I think Shafir managed to go ahead and see it. Looks like Probe has been taken out opposite corner. And I like able to go ahead and wander its way out. Actually, I'm wondering if this is if you can just sneak probes back and do the scout that direction. This is kind of where I am ignorant when it comes to this map. Range upgrading now for Darren. He's got a very he's gonna have a lead on the second gate, but I don't think it's going to result in a significant timing opening comparatively we'll see but i'm also wondering if you can like if you kill these lurker eggs does that deny the probe scout because i feel like yeah you can keep just sending this probe scout over and over again if you have vision to kind of click through it looked like shafir was thinking about that himself and was trying to get across let's see if he can do it this second time because i think if you're able to sneak through like wiggle through and take a look yeah you can just because what you can do is, is the probe can just look and push through. He's going to put his own pylon scout. This is a forward pylon to see any probe trying to the same thing opposite direction. But he wants to go ahead and sneak in and again get a good look at what Darren's up to. That actually makes this map even more difficult, even more challenging. Is the fact that there's kind of this back end where your opponent is always, always, always going to be able to kind of crawl in after the fact. So you can sacrifice a little bit of scouting to go ahead and get eyes. Cybernetics core range just finishing that Dragoon's still there. I almost feel like it's a waste, though. Two gateway range, comparatively. We do see robotics facility finishing for Shafir. 
no robo. Or sorry, there's the robo for Darren. So mirror builds. Oh, Darren distracted, I think, by the probe scout in his base, and as a result, face planting into a dragoon army that was waiting for him and taking a lot of unnecessary damage. He's going to go ahead and sneak out, try to take his, take his nexus. Shafir has opted to produce a few more, so rather than cutting Dragoons, he's opted to produce a few more Dragoons. He is going to go ahead, I think that's the case, let's go ahead and get a count. So three, four, five just now, and that was with earlier gateway count. So I think, yeah, Shafir continued to pump rather than cut. He's got his robotic facility up, he's got his shuttle building. He's going to probably have a Reaver in not too long. And now you can see Darren doing the exact same thing. Pylon Scout down below, and it's going to be the Battle of the Probes down here, I guess. Five Dragoons moving up for Darren. He wants to try to use units to do his scouting for him, and it is going to be an engagement. If Darren... It looked like... Yeah, his units are a little bit scattered. I worry about... I think it's Superior Concavity and Superior Unit Count here from Shafir. Able to get a couple hits, as some of the units just sitting there watching that happen. Come on, guys. It's like you see your friend getting just slammed in the face and you're just like whoa that was cool that he did that come on where, where is your head Shafir producing that reaver which will give him some safety against dragoon attacks but unfortunately for him Darren is in fact getting that natural expansion I don't see a probe kill either side so I think the probe returned to home base yep a fresh probe there waiting to engage in probe on probe battle I guess that's one thing that this map does is that, and maybe that's why it's named Goldmine, because there was that old school, like, World War, I, what, what, even earlier than that, there was kind of the tunnel, the tunneling, diggity-ding, diggity -ding, <clears throat> where you would dig underneath a castle, wall, entrenchment, or whatever, and the people have to dig the counter, whatever, so you just have these peasants constantly just digging and trying to listen for other people digging, you try to dig as quietly as possible, and it just, it was, it sounds like a nightmare, honestly, um, back and forth. Darren units out of position as the Dragoons are just marching to the natural expansion. Point being, the probes are like that. I almost feel like at the 6 o'clock. And Shafir walking into the natural expansion with a Reaver. Darren completely out of position. I think he's just been so concerned about the 6 o'clock that he just missed it. And now that Reaver just free firing on this natural, I don't know that that Nexus is long for life. Darren having to be very, very careful about how he engages this because of that Reaver, and I think he's going to end up losing this Nexus. Wow, big win for Shafir. And if he can just back out of this, that actually supply cap Darren as well. Wow. Wow. So I think as he was moving the scout, he was looking for the scout. He was trying to keep an eye on the 6 o'clock, a little bit distracted. And just because of how things position, Shafir is able to walk in. And I think, yeah, now Darren, you can just see, is flustered. He is flustered. He's losing a lot of units, trying to sneak back. He does have positioning on that Reaver, but a great Reaver shot comparatively. He's going to lose his own Reaver, getting some nice concentrated fire at that section, but so is Shafir on the opposite side, and Shafir continuing to hold this natural. Now he's just going to go ahead and try to dive in and walk up to cut off reinforcements. So four Dragoons on the low ground. That is going to give Shafir a... Wow. I think that might be game, guys. I think that might be game. Working on that robotics facility, get, actually sacrifice. He's just going to concentrate fire that rather than trying to do continuous engagements. But leaves it just with 69 health. Can he concentrate it down? It's going to be close. 33 health. Got it. So big wins for Shafir all the way around. All the way around. Able to take out a Nexus. Able to take out the robotics facility. He's got his own Nexus building halfway. He's got Reavers to sit and relax and just enjoy kind of a comfortable patrol duty rather than the stressful probe attack line that is happening at the 6 o'clock on occasion. And Darren needs to do something. Maybe go quick double nexus and hope for the best. Just hope that Shafir kind of goes for more defensive thing. It looks like he's going I think he was a little bit concerned. Okay, this is interesting. I like this. This is brilliant play from Darren. He's like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it so no units can get up here and take this nexus. The one problem... Oh, actually, never mind. That allows units to get through. It's when you kill these simulators that it takes them down. I'm wondering if he's going to kill these simulators after the fact. Once he has these Dragoons in here. So it would be some defensive Dragoons versus anything else. I don't know. We'll see. Point being, yeah, he's going to go ahead and try to sneak two Nexuses really rapidly to try to climb his way back into this match. Natural expansion's up for Shafir. He is sitting at four gateways compared to 
just the three on the opposite side, plus no robo. Yeah, and it looks like what he wants to... I like this. So Darren, yeah, attacking that assimilator opposite end to go ahead and prevent any sort of unit. So he's kind of creating his own... Co I kind of like that aspect of this map. I will say I like that aspect. The infinite probe scout, not so much. But the ability to create your own terrain in a way with the assimilator, that's an interesting feature. That I could see being like, you know, something that makes it into ASL as far as a concept. Shafir continuing to macro up. He's got his shuttle. He can go ahead and... This is the one thing with this expansion upper left and trying to hold all this territory. Being down a robotics facility and not having an observer in this position makes all of this very difficult to defend. So what Darren's going to have to do is he's going to have to pump a lot of Dragoons. Those units are just going to have to be scattered as well. You can see the observer... He's got this one observer that was on that forward position. But it's not going to be able to keep up with this army, so he's not going to know precisely where he needs to defend. He's a little bit on alert here, but if that shuttle just kind of babysits here in the middle and swings around, he could get a lot of free pro kills. Shafir, though, not paying attention, walking into a bit of free fire. Darren needs, yeah, wisely backing up because of the threat of those two reavers. And I think Shafir, with, if you look at the unit count, because Darren went Nexus, he just doesn't have the pure units on the ground, impaling this natural expansion with Dragoon Fire. Two Reavers on the ground on the reinforcement point. Darren, I think this is GG. Darren trying to engage from above, but he's completely isolated away from those Reavers, and there's Reaver, nice protective shell from Shafir. Trying to attack from the high ground, but I believe once again this natural expansion is going to get wiped out. And there is no help coming for Darren. Oh my goodness. So that is going to be two next side down, all probes killed. And honestly, he will be lucky if Shafir doesn't just end the game by walking up. And I think that is what Shafir's doing. He's just continuing to proceed forward. He doesn't even need to kill this Nexus. Kill? He doesn't even need to kill this Nexus. He can just go ahead and end the game. Yeah, Darren GG's. Oh, so that's unfortunate because honestly, Darren is one of the guys I knew from the old CPL days. Or not CPL, CSL days. And I was hoping he would advance, but it looks like he's going to get eliminated. Kudos to him, though. Well fought. And Shafir is going to advance to the finals. I will cast those games momentarily. I've kind of got a, for people on stream, I've got a time deadline, but we'll see how much time, how we, how far we can get. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.